What's up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this video, a full review of the Galaxy Grand Prime for Cricut. In this video, basically we're going to go over everything you need to know about this baby and that's going to be everything full in depth timestamp will be down below in the description so you can customize where it is that you want to um you know see in this video and whether you're just here to like decide if you want to buy a phone or you just want to let's see just check it out in general because you already have it or just check it out because you're interested we got you covered here you probably won't need to see any other videos we're gonna go over the call quality we're gonna go over everything you need to know about this phone like I say, go in the description and uh, check out wherever you want to go or just watch the whole thing if you're feeling super awesome. And uh, let's go. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to get into is the hardware tour of the device. So you can see we have our white, you know, Galaxy Grand Prime and we have a five inch 540 by 960 uh, resolution panel on the front. So that's a little bit below 720p. HD. We have a home button down here, um, a back button, the multitasking switch key I just showed you. Right here you're going to see the uh, microphone uh, headphone jack for when you're talking, the ambient light sensors. We have a 5 megapixel front facing camera right there which is pretty nice. We have some thin bezels on the side. Going over to your right side is your power button. Up here is going to be the little slot so you can pop off the back battery for the removable battery where you can insert a micro SD card slot. Um, going over to the left side, we have the volume rockers. Going over to the bottom, there is nothing. On the top, you're going to see your 3.5 millimeter headset jack where you can plug in universal headphones. We have right there another mic. Going over to the bottom, you're going to see that my case is kind of not all the way on, but we have the mic for talking. Down here, we have the micro USB port. And uh, going over to the back, you're going to see the 8 megapixel camera right there with a flash and a speaker right there at the top, which sounds pretty good, by the way. Cricket branding. Galaxy Grand Prime branding. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty smooth. If we go ahead and pop the back off, we're, we're up on the left side. We're going to see what is revealed behind there. And let's get it off. It's a little bit tight, which is a good thing because that shows that it's quality. We have the 2600 milliamp hour battery by Samsung, which should give us great battery life. Right there is going to be where you insert your SIM card slot and your micro SD card slot. They sit on top of each other. This is a basic Samsung design. It's always been this way. And yeah, you have removable options here. So that is always a plus on the Samsung phones in general. So yeah, that's a hardware tour of the device. All right, guys, this next section of this video is going to be the build quality. And the build quality of this device has been surprisingly sturdy and very, you know, solid for what you're paying for this device. Coming in at some promotional discounts of $30, some $70, some $99. But this phone is very affordable and the quality is solid and tight. Um, it's even a little bit better than, I would say, the Galaxy S4 of past. It's a little bit harder design, not as soft on the edges, a little bit more square. But overall, very sturdy phone. And I think you're going to enjoy it. As you see, I bring out the Galaxy S4. You're going to see it's a little bit more uh, plastic looking on the S4. But this phone right here is like on par with it. If not, I would say a little bit higher quality feeling than the S4. And that's pretty good for a budget phone. All right, guys, heading into this section is what I like to call the boot up test, where we just boot it up and see what happens. So let's boot it up. And we're going to see the Cricut logo is going to appear in front of your eyes after we see the Grand Prime Android, powered by Android. Um, that was, you know, implemented by Google to have all Android phones um, show the logo Android. So you see Cricut logo pops up right there. And there's a little tune to it, but this is a voiceover video. So you're going to see, you're not going to hear the tone here, but there's a little bit of a tune, a little bit annoying, depending on your tastes. But yeah, that's a boot up test. All right, guys, in this section, what I want to do is talk about the positive aspects of the phone. And there is plenty of them here to be found. The first one I want to talk about is going to be just the overall, you know, build quality of device. I really enjoy it. It's very nice. And like we said in the previous section on build quality, it's just a very nice feeling phone in the hand. 
Another thing I want to talk about is how you're getting almost the same value as you get with an S4 as I'm showing here on the screen. You get basically the same value with just a less of a sharp screen. So they're really bringing, you know, a great phone to the masses here with the Grand Prime. So shout outs to Cricut for doing that. Also, the camera on the back is very solid at 8 megapixels. Kind of like the Galaxy Note 2's camera, if you remember that one. The flash is also great. And the speaker is at a pretty good level too. So you're not going to have no problems hearing the sound. The brightness is okay, but we're going to get into brightness next one. And it's very speedy. As you can see, I'm going through the phone. I've been popping in and out of apps and the phone overall performs very well. As you can see, we're scrolling up and down and we've even seen more lag on, you know, some iPhones or even iPod touches as you've seen in my other videos. So look how fast things just are flying open. It's pretty ridiculous what you can get for the dollar these days in terms of your value proposition. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm opening up and also another, you know, cool thing is that you get all these Samsung features built in. We're going to talk about that later. As you can see, you get Android Lollipop. We're going to talk about that in the software, but that's also another positive thing because you don't want to be too far behind. We're on Marshmallow now, but Pop Lollipop is a solid operating system and that's why it's on so many Android phones. So that's a great thing. The next thing I want to talk about is this front-facing camera. That's solid at five megapixel cam, uh, five megapixels, which is very solid for the front. And yeah, we also have some nice branding on this phone as well. And you know, it doesn't scream like cheap. It screams like it's a solid phone. And budget phones haven't been able to do that that often. So also one last thing I want to point out is the battery life is killer on this phone. So those are my positive aspects of the Grand Prime. Now, this is going to be the negative aspects, and this doesn't have an eco reaction as the positive. There is less negatives, but the brightness doesn't get too bright. It's decent. It's uh, just decent, like I say. Um, so brightness, yeah, not the best in the world. Color accuracy, not the best in the world, but it'll get the job done. Going down to storage, we have only 8 gigs. That's kind of a bummer, especially with how beautiful this phone is. You know, 8 gigs, available 2.4 gigs. That can run out really fast if you're really heavy app user which most of us watching this video probably are and if you aren't then you're going to be fine in that department also another negative thing is all these cricket installed bloatwares i don't like when phones install bloatware i like my phone to be raw naked you know you know just you know lets me customize it to the full potential of my creative expression and i'm sure you want to do that as well with your android device or we would be buying an iphone which is very locked down not that i don't like iphones you would know i like all phones if you check out this channel but yeah um overall that's pretty much my negative aspects there's a few more but you know nothing too much to complain about overall the phone is solid you know it has a, some, some a little bit of bloatware, you know, meaning that this phone might take a little bit you to get used to as much because there's so many features in the phone and you might have to learn a little bit about how to use it if you're not familiar with phones, but that's pretty much it on negative aspects. All right, guys, get into this section of the device. We're going to talk about the software and I'm going to separate this from the Samsung feature section because we're going to talk about basically Android here. It is running Android 5.1.1 a Lollipop, which is probably the most refined version of Android Lollipop. I believe it was the last version of Android Lollipop. So you're getting a very refined software experience here. Not Marshmallow, but with Samsung over the top, you basically can't even tell that you're running Android Marshmallow or, you know, Android Lollipop, unless you're a really diehard geek that knows that kind of stuff. Also... Um, we have NFC in this, you know, software here. Um, pretty much Samsung branded skin, a lot like the S5 software. We also have ultra power saving mode. Now, that's, you know, a Samsung feature, but we're really going to get into more of the other Samsung skin things in the next section. So stay tuned for that. Um, but overall, Samsung calendar, you know, that's Samsung-y. Um, the software is smooth, buttery. It runs Android Lollipop, like I've been saying, and... That's pretty much it on the software aspect. You know, it's got the Play Store. That's Google. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it on the software aspect when, when in terms of what it offers. It's an Android Lollipop phone with a Samsung skin on top. And you can see this keyboard responds very well. So yeah, if you like that kind of skinning thing where Samsung throws one on top or LG throws one on top of their devices to make Android a little bit easier or a little bit cleaner or a little bit 
you know, more your style, then you're going to dig the software on this phone. All right, guys, this is the Samsung feature section. As you can see, we have the call on the lock screen. That's the Samsung feature, the camera on the lock screen with the clock up in the left-hand corner. Stock Android is a little bit different. Um, we have Galaxy apps, we have Milk Music, we have a memo, not S-Memo, just Samsung memo. You can see the email branded, the calendar branded, we talked about that, the calculator. But you can see all these apps are Samsung installed apps. You can also go ahead and go into the Play Store, a little tip, and get all the Google apps, the clock, the calendar, the calculator, if you don't like what you see on your Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Um, but overall, you're gonna see you have a voice recorder, you have the browser, right there which is the samsung you know skinned browser um you have your app tray which is very samsungy because it goes left to right the um the android stock one goes up and down we also have screen mirroring which is where you can screen mirror to a samsung tv which a lot of us probably don't have a samsung tv but if you do that option is always on the table also you have printing that is a cool feature going into sound and notifications you're gonna have samsung bubbles and all those you know little samsungy sounds they might have took them off but who knows um going down to the you're gonna have unlock effects you don't get this in you know stock android this is a samsung thing where you can change the lock effect like rippling stones on your lock screen so that's a cool thing as well you can also change some call related settings in here that's samsung enabled um android has its own call features so that's a different thing scrolling down a little bit more i believe we talked about the ultra power saving mode but let's just mention again ultra power saving mode just saves you all kinds of time and Samsung threw this one on here just to make sure you can get the most battery life, similar to what Apple's doing with their low battery power mode in their devices. And yeah, that's pretty much Samsung's skin and features. And also they throw all these toggles up in the notification tray to make life easier for you. So yeah, that's what you can expect on Samsung features. All right, guys, we couldn't do this review without doing the camera test. So you're gonna see over here, we have the front facing camera which um, we're gonna actually turn back around to the back. And uh, shout out to the almond boys, all the almond boys on deck eating those whole almonds, getting all that protein in, that potassium. Shout outs to you, but we're gonna see the camera is going very smoothly. You're gonna see we have all these features built in, beauty face, panorama, rear cam selfie, continuous shot, HDR rich tone, night animated GIF. So you have a lot of options here within your device. Going over down, we have the flash, which is gonna enable you to go to auto flash and off. So going to settings, you're going to see we have all these settings to change your megapixel count to get save some space. And also Samsung includes all this stuff in your exposure value, ISO, white balance, metering, take pictures, video size, location tag, grid lines, volume key, turn off the shutter sound, voice control. There's so much here for you guys to play around with. So this really gives you a little bit of pro camera features within your you know relatively budget device going over here we have effects so you can get more grayscale or negative or any of those you know you know extra effects that we have to do for some instagram and we got the time right there too the timer which is always important hopping over to this five megapixel camera selfie you're gonna see it looks pretty solid hello hello that's me hello <laughs> hello once again i'm trying to get this you know little Eh, to open when I close my hand, but I guess that's not working right now, but it does work. It's just kind of hard to do this behind camera. Um, but yeah, the camera on the front facing also has some beauty um, mode up at the top. So you're going to see when you take a photo up at the top, we're going to have this little beauty section right here. If we can, it's like to make yourself look like what you really don't look like. So if you're into all that and you don't like your face, it's there for you. That's up to you, but you got the beauty mode to be beautiful. Okay, so that's the camera. All right, guys, that's the ending of this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so basically, the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime is a very good value. It's very similar to a Samsung Galaxy S4, but like a budget version of it. So take the S4, budget it down just a little bit, add a little bit sturdier build quality, and this is the Galaxy Grand Prime, what we have here. Um, Cameras are pretty similar. 
actually, even though this is a 16 megapixel or a 13 megapixel, they are pretty similar. They have very similar plastic, and I don't like, this is not a versus comparison, but seriously, if you know, if you've had an S4, you're going to be feel right at home right here. So that is actually a plus in my opinion. The software is solid, runs very fast. We didn't get into gaming in this video, but I can tell you that most casual games are going to run well. You throw a high graphic game on here. It should run pretty well as this has the Snapdragon 410 processor. So gaming is going to be pretty solid on here. Not console quality, but it'll get the job done. All the Samsung features are also a plus on this Galaxy Grand Prime as we have talked about in this video throughout. Storage is decent, but what is the overall verdict of the Galaxy Grand Prime? If you are somebody who wants to have a phone that's not going to break the bank, but is going to give you the value that you need at a low cost, the Galaxy Grand Prime is going to fit the bill. Make sure you go ahead and comment down below anything you want to know about this Cricut Galaxy Grand Prime so we can get into it down below. But anyway, guys, also I have some videos. I'll leave in the link in the description in the cards, um, the unboxing of this video, as well as other budget phones you could check out on the channel. But anyways, yes, a value phone at a great price. Leave a thumbs up down below. And to subscribe if you haven't already, because we do all kinds of tech things over here. And this channel is just going to keep bringing the videos, turning them out every week. So you're going to have all kinds of tech coming your way. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.